Hare Krishna. Let's embark on our journey delving into the profound teaching of the Bhagavad Gita, specifically focusing on its 70th verse from second chapter. This verse in Sanskrit reads, Apuryamanam achala pratishtam samundram apaha pravisanti edvat tadvat kamayam pravisanti sarve sasanti mapnoti na kama kame. Its translation in English conveys a person who is not disturbed by the incessant flow of desires that enter like rivers into the ocean which is ever being filled but is always still, can alone achieve peace, and not the man who strives to satisfy such desires. Imagine watching a movie where the audio and video are out of sync. Isn't it disorienting? Our lives can feel the same way when our actions and thoughts are out of alignment. The desires of the mind constantly barrage us, making it challenging to find peace and contentment. We often seek peace, but it seems elusive, shattered into countless fragments by our insatiable desires. It is said that peace is today actually in pieces. We are perpetually dissatisfied. Either we think we do not have enough or enough is never enough. Krishna offers a profound analogy using the ocean to illustrate how to deal with desires. Like rivers flowing into the ocean, desires keep coming. Yet, the ocean remains steady, never overflowing its bound. Similarly, when we are anchored in our own consciousness, desires may come, arise, but they no longer control us. The key is to cultivate the willpower to resist acting on unnecessary desires. This strength of will comes from aligning our desires positively, leading to spiritual growth. By being Krishna conscious, we harmonize our desires and become immune to their disturbances. Take for instance, King Ambrish, a spiritually advanced king. He remained untouched by material desires. Despite engaging in worldly affairs, his devotion to Krishna shielded him from the allure of sensory pleasure, leaving him spiritually fulfilled. In fact, one saint named Yamanachare says that when the useless thought comes in his mind, he spit at that thought and reject it completely without indulging because he is experiencing the sweet nectar of his spiritual connection with Krishna. Therefore, Krishna recommends sasanti mapnoti nakama kami which means that we become peaceful and happy when we strengthen our will to not act upon the unnecessary desires, even if they come to us. Krishna emphasizes that those who relentlessly chase desires never find true peace. However, by following Krishna's guidance and strengthening our resolve to resist unnecessary desires through loving service to Him, we can exist in this world without being ensnared by it. As we continue our journey, we'll delve more into this topic. See you again with another verse from Bhagavad Gita. Hare Krishna!